Um, do you guys think that a Tesla Semi will fit under my Christmas tree? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've never been more attracted to a Semi truck in my life. After the Tesla Semi presentation, we know that Tesla Semi is here. It's real and it's hardcore made with not only the driver in mind, but also people on the road. In fact, this is a safe vehicle and it's fast. This event was held near Reno at the Nevada Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada, and this is actually the home of the production of the semi for now. A couple years ago, they talked about volume production being in Austin, Texas eventually, but for now, it sounds like that production will stay in Nevada. Wait, before we get any further, if you like Tesla related news, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to Ellie and Space. Now, Tesla Semi was originally unveiled five years ago. It was supposed to have those first deliveries three years ago. So yeah, we're a little bit late, but nevertheless, the executives of Pepsi looked pretty happy up there on stage. And look at those cool wrapped Tesla Semis with the Pepsi logo and the Frito-Lay logo. I would so love to take a test drive in one of the semis. And that's the interesting thing. Elon says, you know, if you know how to drive a Model 3, you can probably drive a Tesla semi. Just keep in mind, it's, you know, a little bit bigger, but it's fast. It's like freaky fast for what you would normally think for a semi. In fact, look at this video of the Tesla Donner semi that they have been testing out. This is apparently on a 6% grade and you can just see it whip right past the other guy. So this thing can go from zero to 60 in 20 seconds, which is really, really fast for uh, something that is carrying around 82,000 pounds. So the goal is to build the greatest class eight truck in history, but why build a semi? A couple million passenger vehicles are sold every year. Compare that to just a few hundred thousand semi trucks. But did you know that those semi trucks make up 20% of the emissions? And that's over a third of particulate emissions. So covering all forms of major transport is a key goal with Tesla. And that is why they started developing the Tesla semi in 2017. One thing that Elon also mentioned, there's a shortage of truck drivers right now. So they're hoping that the chance to drive a Tesla might help pump up those numbers. But this truck driver shortage is something that I actually covered when I was a TV news reporter. This has been a long time story. And in fact, it is still a problem. According to the American Trucking Association, the US is short 78,000 truck drivers. So some other reasons that you might want to take up driving a Tesla semi, well, this thing is not sluggish at all. It has three times more power than any diesel truck on the road right now. And you can drive 500 miles on a single charge. Tesla has the advantage of leveraging existing powertrain elements to make the semi reliable and efficient. So the Tesla semi has gone through hardcore testing as Elon puts it. They've taken that thing through hot, cold snow and rain, and they have Tesla employees that have been continuously doing test drives between Fremont and Sparks. In fact, they showed this test drive. This was on a single charge all the way from Fremont to San Diego. And look, it got to San Diego with 4%. Elon says they're using the Plaid Model X S powertrain and the efficiency is actually greater in cruise mode. Another interesting thing when it comes to semi is that regenerative braking that you experience in a Tesla makes it safer for everyone on the road because there is no gear to miss. With the diesel truck, you have those runaway truck ramps, but when Tesla semi gets to the bottom of a hill, it has cold brakes, so this is a significant safety improvement and probably pretty mind blowing if you're in the trucking industry. Tesla Semi also has excellent traction control and better precision with an electric vehicle. It automatically stops the truck from jackknifing. It is shaped like a bullet for aerodynamic efficiency and it's as easy to drive as a Model 3. So if there are any Tesla Semi drivers who want a co-pilot for a day, 
please send me an email or DM me on Twitter or something because I wanna ride in one of these so badly. And the Tesla Semi is actually pretty spacious. In fact, Elon drove the Semi to the stage during the presentation. He's a pretty tall guy and he was able to stand up in there. So that is really nice and keeps the driver's comfort in mind. Now on my other Tesla Semi video, a lot of people were asking about the charging situation. Well, they have developed a megawatt charger and they say that the next generation will have liquid cooling, but that's not the cool part. <sighs> wow, that was bad. I didn't even plan that. The cool part is that Elon said that this megawatt charging is coming to superchargers next year, and he confirmed that Cybertruck will be using this megawatt charging. The first deliveries began to Pepsi during the event, and apparently they recently completed the first cargo run with an enormous amount of Frito-Lays, so yum. Now, this presentation was under an hour, which kind of surprised me. They didn't really go into specifics with a lot of the specs. One of the things that I was looking out for is if they've raised those initial price quotes that they gave, those were $150,000 for the 300 mile range and $180,000 for the 500 mile range. Uh, it was rumored that they were supposed to raise those prices. Again, they didn't give any announcement on that and I don't see anything updated on their website. So we have yet to find out about that. We also didn't get any update on where a new Gigafactory could be. That was something that was highly rumored to be announced at this event. It was not so. All we know is that Tesla Semi is here, it's real, and it's pretty hardcore. So I wanna know what your reaction is to the Tesla Semi. I, for one, am so excited to have a safer vehicle on the road, and hopefully this incentivizes more people to take up this profession since we have a shortage. I mean, someday the hope is that we won't have to have drivers in the Tesla Semi, and that seems a bit far off, but this is a great start and just a phenomenal vehicle. Congrats to all of the people working behind the scenes to make this happen. This could not have been easy. So it was very exciting for me to watch this presentation. I so wish that I could have been there in person, but maybe at the next one. Well, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope that you're having a great holiday season. I'll see you in the next video.